Hi everyone. Someone asked me this today. Since last year, I've been chatting online with a Venezuelan woman. She wants me to get her a ticket to visit me. She's a model and dancer, not a club stripper with a three-year-old son. I'm a pretty red pill, so I watch for red flags and signals. How can I find out if this individual is worth the money and time to come to the US? Who knows if I won't get scammed? You aren't repealed. It doesn't matter why Western countries import foreign women for dating, marriage, and partnerships. Guys who think importing a foreign woman will give them an edge are sorely mistaken. I'm not being snide. I'm pointing out YouTube facts. Some individuals regard facts as hate speech, but they are. Snowflakes who don't like it should chill out. So she wants a ticket to visit him. You're wrong since she's a single parent of a three-year-old son. First, you're talking to a Venezuelan single mother. She may have trouble understanding communication. Importing a foreign woman for romantic purposes becomes a liability. You have two liabilities with a child. If she works, she won't have many talents. Why say not a stripper if she's a dancer? I'm presuming you doubt your intuition because it's talking to me as I read this. And I don't know her. She's a single mother. She's foreign. She won't bring much to the table and you'll be supporting her and her child. Her family may even move in with you. Her parents, mother, and cousins brought foreign women for love reasons. You end up helping them transfer money back to their families for things like surgery, paying off bills, or breaking kneecaps. So many difficulties. Blue pill beta thinking, not red pill. A crimson pillar would see through these. Single mom, dancer slash model, not a stripper. You fear being ripped off or financial harm. That's your intuition saying, pay attention. How can I scrutinize further? I'd hurry. Is life so horrible where you live and as a male that you need to converse with a foreigner? Is she a Dubai oil chick with cash deluxe in a vault? You need a dowry. You only bring talk to a pretty woman. I don't know if you've met her or if you're looking at images or making Skype chats, but you're talking about an attractive woman with baggage and liabilities who could be high risk later on. All foreign ladies in the West get westernized. It happens over time, within a year or two. They'll adopt Western values. All women are hypergamous by nature, so she's likely hypergamous too. Brolt's Law for Western Tools and Resources Besides the Red Pillar, examine Brevolt's Law. You import a lady who's interested in you because of what you can offer her. She may bounce once she has citizenship and a green card. You're taking huge risks for minimal gains. I saw a Netflix documentary about aging British guys importing Filipino women. They followed the importing tale and concluded the juice wasn't worth the squeezing. Not what they expected. The women weren't as attractive as expected and they were required to pay the money back before the move, romantic relationship, or having sex with them. Can you email me a ticket for the bargaining? I want to visit you and spend the weekend with you. Maybe she's sending you nasty photographs or promising to do dirty things. Then the bargain will morph into demands, such as I have to bring my son over since my mom's been looking after him, so I can't expect her to do it, or I can relocate her and my mom over to look after the kid, etc. Success and failure leave hints. Listen to individuals who have had similar experiences. In the past, importing women for romantic reasons made little sense to me. If you want to travel there and have some fun, maybe live in Venezuela for a month or two to see what the women and culture are like, then depart. It makes no sense to date a woman from one of these countries. I'd rethink several things. Single moms, you're not red-pilled. It's not a disparaging remark, and I'm not trying to sound like a dick. I'm merely pointing out facts. I don't think a red pill believer would have that conversation. It's love-based. Hopefully, you get it. Enjoy this quickfire. Like the video and leave a comment. Cheers, till next time.